tradition with a twist. That's the mark of a maker. And welcome back. Now, you think it being a Saturday in June, we'd be safe to showcase a recipe suitable for a barbecue today. But the Irish weather has other ideas. Yeah, silly us. So today, Charlo from charlothechef.com is preparing us for when the weather does come around again. Good morning to you, Charlo. Good morning, folks. Thanks for having me. Good to see you, Charlo. The number one thing you need to prepare for a barbecue in this weather? Ah, I think I brought along my umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a familiar sight to many people. It's going to be a familiar sight. I mean, I, was, I should have put on a stew for today, huh? a Brucey stew, maybe. But, ah, yeah. we can still do this. Yeah, we come to the, we bring the umbrella back in later. What do you think? Okay, um, so prawn tackle. Okay, so what we need, okay, we have a char grill pan and we do need a blender because what I, I don't really. I'm not a fan of the shop bought tacos. Okay, so we're, yeah, gonna make yeah, so we're going to make them today. Okay, so we're going to start with our first, all right? Okay. So what we need is we have some plain flour, a little tip as well, a little bit of tin foil, mm -hmm. so it doesn't go all over your kitchen. So I've got 450 grams of sieved plain flour. We're going to go with 50 grams of um, coarse wholemeal flour, half a teaspoon of bacon powder, a little bit of pinch of salt. This is very ambitious now. First yeah. to be making this. There we go. Now, you see? Yep. Just pinch it up to your mixer. Pour it in there. You can pour this into a bowl as well. Mm. See, every, oh, the, the flour is sieved. Very important to make, the, make sure the flour is sieved. Okay. And you sieve the whole, the whole meal flour as well? No, just, just the plain flour. Just okay. plain, gotcha. yeah. Now, we're going to hit it with a, two tablespoons of uh, oil. So, looks, it doesn't happen to be rapeseed oil, sunflower oil, olive oil. But I bet that's oil. rapeseed oil. You're this is rapeseed oil. So, yeah. that's one, two, and maybe one for the roll. What do you think? Okay. okay. <laughs> 220 mils of cold water, but look, don't put it all in together. So we'll just add a small bit in, say two towards three quarters, four fifths. Right? Okay, and we have the full recipe on our website. Yeah. Yeah. Know, we'll blitz that. Try it. Make a little bit of noise. Yeah. And that's why you keep back in your uh, water, just to bring it on a little bit more. Okay? Now, if your mixer needs a little bit of a hand, mm. well, it's getting there. It forms into a dough, yeah. as you can see. It's getting there. Once it forms into a dough, take it out, knead it for two minutes, mm -hmm. put it into an oiled bowl, and then a damp tea towel over it and set it to one side. So you, you poured in more oil into the bowl? Just a little bit of oil into the bowl, just, just, yeah, just, just, yeah. just to help it on its way. Okay. But it also stops from sticking to the side of your bowl. Mm. I've, all you need then is a little like golf ball shaped mm -hmm. ball, okay? And what we're going to do is floured surface. So you don't need to refrigerate it or anything like that? No, you can refrigerate it last for up to three days, okay. three to four days. So I'm just going to roll now. I'm just going to show you how thin you need to have this. Now, I have my char grill pan on full, so you need your char grill pan smoking. And I have some corn on the cob already charred because I'm going to serve this taco with a delicious uh, summer salad. Mm. I'm going to go with a beetroot and avocado and we've got uh, carrot in there and we've got uh, spinach leaves as well. So nice and thin. But if you wanted then, Charlotte, with what your base is such that you have there, could you use it for other things? Fantastic for a pizza base. Roll it, see how thin that is, guys? You can nearly see your fingerprints. That's the mm. size, size of a side that's taco. So that's your taco made, yeah? You can make them in advance, yeah. all right? And make it thicker, you have a pit of bread. Yeah. Make it a little bit longer, you have a flat bread. So it's so versatile. Gotcha. Fantastic. Leave this in the fridge and just take out a little ball as you need it. It's fantastic. Two or three minutes in the pan. We're going to cook it now in a second. Let me talk to you about the prawns. So I've marinated the prawns overnight, but you can marinate them for like 40 minutes. Or it depends on how your time, your mm. time is, okay? So simple marinade, prawns, jumbo prawns. I've got some chili flakes. Do you devein them? Yeah, I bought them deveined. Okay. Actually, great. I was down the Asian Now, market it might yesterday. be the one some of us might cut corners with. Can we just get the ones out of the packet? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, actually, do you know what? The, the, the supermarkets do a great uh, prawn, and it's, uh, it's already in like a vac pack, and it's already marinated. Mm. You might come across them. So they're equally, you can use them equally. There's no problem. Do you put so, ginger in there, or is it garlic? Just a bit of garlic yeah. flakes, a little bit of uh, grated or sliced garlic, a little bit of uh, lemon wicklow rapeseed oil. Perfect. So that's 40 minutes or overnight, preferably. And then we're going to just assemble the prawns. I'm just going to put on the skewer here now, okay? So we'll just assemble one. There's the ones I have marinating overnight. So, again, housekeeping rules, mm -hmm. handling raw food, mm -hmm. gloves on or no gloves, wash your hands afterwards. I've soaked the skewers in a little bit of water so they don't burn on your barbecue, okay? So soak them up to, say, two hours. Good tip. Yeah, we're going to, then you just spike them, like so. And remind us again, Charlotte, what colour are we looking for if the prawns, when we know they're cooked? Okay, two minutes either side, right? So that's a great question, Laurie, because we got to make sure they're, they're, they're rubbery anyway, okay? Mm -hmm. But we got to make sure we don't overcook them. But two minutes either side, and then always cut into one if you're not sure. Mm. 
I brought a little bit of this rapeseed, uh, Wicklow rapeseed spray oil. And we need to just spray our taco bread, okay? On one side, really hot pan. Watch what happens here. So as I was saying, if you're cooking at home for one or two people, you can roll out these in advance. Now you'll see our prawns are cooking away. Yeah. I'm just gonna take off my corn now, because my corn is ready. And what we're gonna do with the corn is we're gonna slice this into our salad. You see? Oh wow, cool. So we have the corn, lovely flavors of the barbecue, and especially if you have a char grill barbecue outside. Do you mm. do salt and butter on, with the corn in the barbecue? Uh, yeah, you can do, yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, lovely, yeah, so, yeah, salt, <laughs> salt last and night, butter. So. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> my, my daughter, Addie, she loves corn to cob now, you know, and she loves it with loads of butter, all right? So you can see what's happening here. We have all our bubbles coming up. We're gonna just turn our, our prawns now, okay? Now, as you can see, our first two, because we were a little bit off the, off the pan there, mm. our first, see the colour we're looking at? This is the colour we're trying to okay. achieve here, all right? Yeah. You see our, our taco bread? And the bubbles are, are a good sign? Good sign, yeah, oh, absolutely. You want, you want to make sure that all the bubbles are up, okay? And then once you see all the bubbles here, you know it's time to turn. We're going to leave it for a second, all right? Let's talk about the salad. So I've got a nice summer crisp salad. And I've made sure that the salad, everything, all the components of the salad are really fine diced or grated. I have an avocado. A little tip when you're buying your avocados. Just make sure that there's a little bit of give from your thumb and thumbprint into it, okay? It doesn't bounce back. If it's too mm. hard, it's, uh, it's not ripe. Yeah. If you put them in a brown bag and put them in the fridge, does that ripen them? That... That's a good one. I never that heard that Yeah, I think, I think that's how... Because yeah. you know often you'd, okay. you'd break a window with them, they're yeah. so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think, well, think though, most, bag... most supermarkets now have a little sticker on saying ripe. Yeah, saying ripe. Right. Yeah. Twist, yeah. though, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's your perfect avocado. Here's a little tip. Keep it in your hand. Watch your hand now. Crisscross. Oh, you're already slicing it in it. In it, yeah. Crisscross. Spoon it out and then... Yeah, turn it around, crisscross. Be careful of your hand. Messy. Yeah, it's messy. Yeah. Everywhere. Little spoon. I know you have a diced avocado. Charla, we have a minute left. Um, can I help yeah, you yeah. with the sauce, the dressing here? What have okay, we got? Okay, so mayonnaise, quick, quick and simple dressing. Mayonnaise, sweet chilli sauce, coriander already chopped, a little bit of lime juice. So everything in together. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Now, what we're doing as well here, Aidan, we're going to just tap the prawns here. With some of your sweet chilli? Yeah, we're just there. You see the colour? Mm -hmm. Just a little... <laughs> 30 seconds and we have the prawns. So we're just going to ready to serve now in a second. So we have our beautiful taco shell ready to go. And the bubbles got are gone, lovely. so it's Bubbles ready. are gone, yeah. yeah. You can see the marks here. Our prawns are just there, OK? All right, so let's we're just going to serve so up, we yeah. see the finished product. Delicious. So we Smells. have this beautiful, beautiful salad here with our corn, all right? And then what we're going to do is Laura has the, has the dressing there for me. Yeah. I've got some coriander here as well. We have these beautiful... And just I have a little bit of sweet chilli sauce just to help them on their way. Okay. It smells mm. so good, Charlie. Okay, now they're, they're perfect. If you're, if you're not sure, just go into one of your prawns. Make sure that they're fully cooked, <coughs> which you can see here, folks. Mm -hmm. And then we just pop them on top. A mm -hmm. little bit of dressing, Laura. There we go. You have to ring the bell, Laura. Oh, Service. Yeah. Ring the bell, bell. yeah. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. <laughs> I love it, not I love a pro it. like you, Charlie. So we're just going to put a little bit of dressing over here. Oh, and then just a little pinch that. at the end, okay? A little bit of uh, coriander, all right? And then we have just a little bit of lime juice here. And then what we do, just before service, okay? Mm -hmm. Just before service then, we just, can you see this folks? We just mm -hmm. twist our taco, pull our skewer. Ah, oh. oh, that's so yeah. clever. Don't, don't and there we have the taco. Do you know what, who needs the Grab sun your, when you have your something umbrella. so useful like Carlo, that? Thanks we're, so we're gonna much. Be, we're going to be barbecuing in the rain today. Thank Covered you. for all okay, occasions. Folks, enjoy. Thank you. That looks sensational. Now, all recipe details, like Laura said, are up on the website, and that is virginmediatelevision.ie forward slash Ireland AM, or check out charlotheshef.com for more. Thanks, Charlo. Still Thanks to come, folks. how the stars of Broadway and the West End have teamed up to support an Irish project. See you soon. Thank you. Tradition with a twist. That's the mark of a maker.